I'm not just a musician for the town during Grand Rapids Symphony concerts, but I'm a musician for the town. And what that means is I can be part of people's lives in all the different ways that they may need music. So when people can come to us and come to a concert at the symphony, that's fabulous. But when people are ill or have family members who are ill, they can't do that. So the symphony has for a long time thought about ways that we could go to people. And this Music for Health initiative is the way we figured out to do that. And this is the second symphony Aaron um, has been invited to from Spectrum Health. And he was so excited about it, he wanted to get out of therapy and roll down as fast as he could because he was afraid he was going to miss it. He loves it. It's exciting to us. It's exciting to him. Music is what he's about, and it's so, so therapeutic, so helpful. I would recommend it. I want to take it with me when we go. Anywhere else? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Knock it off, Mom. <laughs> when it started, to, they started to come and get him for music therapy. It just seemed to brighten him and lighten his burden and um, just put joy back in his heart. And uh, he would tell me immediately. Some people came in here and started letting me hear some music, and I thought, oh, Michael, I know you love that. And uh, so it has really brought a lot of sunshine back and a lot of joy back in his heart, in his countenance even. One of the, the biggest impacts that this partnership between the symphony and music therapy has brought to our campus and our patients who've had brain injuries and strokes is that we are able to to offer this beautiful musicality where at times we can just sit and be present and all we have to do is be and, um, and then be touched by that, the beauty in the music. And on top of that, we've been able to talk about what beauty do we have within ourselves and what is the rehabilitation process about? Um, how has rehabilitation touched family members? And as we talk about that, we've even created songs and created our own music. And we've been able to work with the symphony to, put, to create these beautiful original pieces. I love music, all types. And it just gives me a feeling inside that I like. It peps me up. It's kind of like um, if you sit in the front row at church, you have no distractions behind you. It's just you and, you know, you know what's happening there, especially, you know, when there's a lot of music involved. Um, it's just you and that. There's nobody else around. In this case, it was me and the sky and the music, but there wasn't any other distractions other than, you know, once in a while when he walked in front of my view. <laughs> but that was, you know, you could pretty much, you know, isolate yourself with that when you really concentrated on the music. Well, it's been very humbling after each performance. There's always several people that say thank you. And um, I'm just really thankful myself to get to do it, to get to, to impact people this way, to, you know, the, the years I've spent studying music and working. It's all you want to do, the only reason you go into it is to help make people's lives better. And so to have that opportunity is something that I'm very thankful for. I think overwhelmingly, they talk about the, the relaxation, the tension just relaxing away. Um, some even relaxing to the point of being able to nap a little bit um, in, in the infusion space. Patients are there uh, at times, three, five, seven hours at a time. So it really also breaks up the time for them. And uh, they're often able to have a family member with them and, and they enjoy the music together. <laughs>